Hello everyone and welcome to the best modeling programs for Unity done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies and in this video we are going to take a look at choosing a modeling program to suit your Unity workflow. Keep in mind that this video is based on my own personal experience and therefore you might not agree with me entirely, though this should help you get an idea of what software to pick. Um, I made this video because a lot of you have requested me to uh, do so. Now let's get started with what I like to use. Uh, I prefer a piece of software in the little more expensive region called Autodesk Maya. Uh, the firm Autodesk is huge in the CD, computer graphics and uh, simulization world. And uh, I personally like Maya because it's well documented and has very few limitations. And also it works well with Unity. Um, but we'll get into that in a second. First, I want to show you how the interface and the UI looks. Um, so here's how it looks. And uh, first thing you will notice is there are a lot and lot of buttons and uh, it can look even worse than this. Um, but I think that the uh, interface is pretty intuitive and uh, they, there is a logic to it. So once you get into the mindset of Maya, um, you will start to figure things out, though um, it's definitely not for the complete beginners. So um, let's move on to talk about how it implements with Unity. So the good thing about Maya is that I don't even have to export the model into an FBX um, and then import it into Unity. Uh, you can just save it in Maya format directly, like you could see me doing here, and then uh, and then just load it up in Unity and it will work. And uh, if you want to make changes, you can just double click the file in the project pane and it will then open up in Maya and you can make changes. And uh, Maya can be very hard to learn because it has so it is so complex and has so many features. So for complete beginners, Maya is often too much to take in. An alternative to Maya um, is another Autodesk program called uh, 3ds Max and uh, we'll get into that in just a second. First of all I want to show you how Maya exports into Unity. So you can see here that it can save in the Maya.Maya file uh, with both meshes, textures, animation data and uh, rigging uh, or bones. So you can make a complete character in Maya and just export him directly into Unity. Um, you can also uh, export to the FBX, which is also made by Autodesk, uh, and it will also store all of the different data, um, though the .Maya works completely fine um, too, so it's a little easier to handle. Now, let's move on to the 3DS Max. Um, Max is really great and is often considered to be more effective for creating low polygon models, which is what you need in the game industry. Uh, both programs are great though, and it really depends on what suits you to, uh, the best. Uh, let's have a look at the interface. This is how it looks, so you can see it looks a little different. Um, in this picture, I wasn't working with anything at all, so it does look a little more scraped, but I would think that they are pretty much on the same level. Um, my personal opinion though is that 3ds Max is a little easier to learn for modeling purposes. It is still really expensive though. Uh, just like uh, Maya, you remember that you can get unlimited trial time on their website on both Max and Maya, but watch out, it's only for educational purposes. You cannot um, use it to make a profit. Um, so here is where you can where you can download it on their website, and um, it's it's only for educational use. Now let's move on to see how it exports into Unity. Just like Maya, you can uh, export it in its own file format with both meshes, textures, animation data, and rigging, and it also exports to FBX. So um, it's really awesome to work with Unity and uh, 3ds Max at the same time. An awesome free alternative to all of the Autodesk stuff is Blender. Uh, Blender is an open source modeling program and game as an engine as well. That means that it's free. And uh, I've worked with Blender a lot in the, in the past. Uh, this is how it looks. And I found the modeling tools to be really 
great for the more serious modeler because the interface is very hard to figure out. Um, I think it's pretty cryptic and uh, I couldn't really wrap my head around it. And also it can be um, very distracting with uh, having a game engine in the same program that you model in uh, because there are a lot of buttons that you don't want to use and uh, stuff like that. So uh, keep in mind that for the, again, complete beginner, Blender is often too much, uh, though it is really, really powerful. And uh, let's move on and see how it uh, exports with the, uh, Unity. So you can see that it can export in its own Blender format with, with uh, all of the data needed, though it cannot export to FBX anymore. Uh, that feature was removed. Uh, a couple of updates ago. Anyway, let's move on to the more uh, easy to use software. Um, here we have Wings 3D, which is also free. And uh, it's really, really focusing on modeling. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty much designed to do modeling only and therefore it's the easiest to learn. And uh, the interface is very scraped. You, the user don't have to learn hundreds of key bindings to do basic actions like inserting an edge loop or extruding a face. Uh, everything is pretty much uh, done through the interface and not through hotkeys and key bindings. Um, the downside to Wings 3D is that it could be a pain to deal with later on. Uh, basically, the only format that works between Unity and Wings 3D is Wavefront, or what's known as OBJ. You can see it here, and uh, it works without texture data, animation, or rigging, so it's only modeling. It uh, sets on the Unity website, though, that it should be able to uh, export to FBX. Uh, though I've never been able to make it work, because the creators of Wings later removed the feature. Wings is really good for doing stuff like texture work. It's, not, it's really no good for doing stuff like texture work or animation either. So it's recommended that you do this in a separate program. Uh, Wings is, with all of the fa uh, flaws, the fastest program to model in. That's just how it is. So it's very fast. Here we have a picture uh, of a model that one of our 3D modelers uh, made. And... Uh, this was done in just 60 minutes and uh, I don't know if this picture really shows all of the detail that went into this, but um, it will get you an idea of just how fast you can work in Wings. Now moving on to an alternative to Wings 3D, also for the beginner, uh, we have Cheater 3D. Uh, which is uh, one of the cheaper modeling programs and it reminds me a lot of Wings 3D though um, without many of the flaws. Uh, Cheetah 3D is easy and fun to use. Uh, it costs only $99 and um, here is the interface. Uh, so you can have a look. You can see that the, the interface is very scraped. There is not much to it. And uh, I was able to learn how to use this for basic modeling in about an hour or so. So that's really, really great. Um, though it is Mac only, so that's a bummer for the Windows users. That was basically, oh yeah, let's just uh, talk about how it exports. It exports in the Cheetah 3D format uh, with every piece of data that you can think of. And um, I'm pretty sure it also uh, exports to the FBX so that's great for the exporting uh, purposes. It will work fine with Unity. That's it for the modeling software overview. Uh, let's just take a uh, quick walkthrough um, of what I've, we have talked about. So to sum up, Maya is great for modeling, texturing, rigging, and animating, but hard to learn and expensive if you're not a student. 3ds Max is much like Maya, though it suits some people better and some people worse. You'll have to figure that out on your own. Blender is a uh, free and very deep program for doing modeling, but some guests get lost in the many features. Wings 3D is the easiest of them all, though it has its limitations. And Cheetah 3D is really good for beginners, but unfortunately only available for Mac users. 
Good luck in uh, choosing the right one for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.